Hey there, DW Berman here with another little lightweight video tip of the week kind of a thing. Um, what I have here is I have a scene where I have this box going up, rotating and landing again, and then just repeating uh, over and over again. I want to make a whole field of these things, and I want them to be offset in time and stuff. So let's do that now. Uh, I have the box there. I also have a null in the scene. The null is where I'm going to be making the instances from. So go to the null properties. Add instancer, instance generator. Double click that. Add object, demo box. And doesn't look like anything happened because I need to tell it where I want the rotation or where I want the uh, instances to be. So let's go to rectangular array. I don't want that many on the Y. I just want one in the Y. But let's make a whole field, which I haven't done yet. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, let's spread them out a bit more to 1.5 meters. Okay, we have just a whole field of these things. But they're all moving in sync. Okay, uh, first things, let's uh, set our view mode on these things to be textured just because this one here in the middle that's looking like a part of a checkerboard is the original model. Um, but yeah, they're all moving in sync, and I don't necessarily want them to move in sync. So let's try changing the time offset. Oh, look, it didn't work. What about time scale? That didn't work either. This thing must be broken. What a piece of crap, you might be saying to yourself. Well, the trick to getting this to work is you have to change the mode here to uh, parent so it'll take the motion from the parent object and hey looks like nothing happened but what if we change the time offset there that looks a lot more erratic we can also change the time scale and there you see it's uh, behaving slightly differently I should point out that this only works with keyframed animation and it does not work with MDDs or baked animation. So if you have set up a character and you have them animated using and you save out the animation using an MDD file, you'll have to load in multiple versions of the character with multiple MDD files to kind of give it the same uh, randomized look. But for doing stuff with, yeah, keyframed animation, this is how you do it. Again, the trick is to make sure that you have the parent the mode set to parent and not local and not world but to parent and then it will work you can also play with the uh, the envelope or the texture or add some nodes and control it that way uh, thanks for watching subscribe to this channel for more light wave tips and sometimes other graphics tips and sometimes just graphics experiments. Also check out the uh, website at liberty3d.com. I have some tutorials for sale over there. The links will be in the description below. So thanks for watching and have a great day.